Hi everyone, welcome to theCUBE's presentation of the AWS Partner Showcase. This is season one, episode two. I'm your host, John Furrier with theCUBE. I'm joined by two CUBE alumni, Andy Langston, SVP and GM at Veeam, and Sabina Joseph, the General Manager of Technology Partners at AWS. We're here talking about speeding the innovation with AWS. Welcome to the show. Glad to be Thank here. Thank you, John, and good to see you, Andy, again. Good to see you, Sabina. Great to have you guys back on. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, great to see both of you, Veeam. Obviously, we've been covering you guys for a long time. You got your Veeam on event coming up in person, which is great. Congrats on the continued success of the company and the product. You guys have always been all in on AWS. We've been covering it for many, many years. Andy, what's the innovation going on now at Veeam? Lots are going, lots happening, lots going on. What's the new innovation? Well, I think, you know, clearly people are interested, you know, when we talk to people, they're interested in, in ransomware. And so ransomware protection, we, they're interested in uh, hybrid cloud, hybrid, um, you know, AWS in particular, we get a lot of interest there. Um, clearly the modern data protection, uh, uh, what we're doing in Office 365, people are looking at all, all those things. And what's the, the platform uh, approach you guys have with AWS? You guys have a broad range. It's not just the classic, I call it the green classic uh, solution. That's all the good product. What's some of the new platform advantages you guys got going on with uh, that's cloud native with AWS? Well, you know, look, we our, our strategy is to protect as many AWS services as possible. You know, and, and you know, from the EC2, EBS, S3, RDS, uh, uh, BMC and many of the services that they're coming out with and, and many times they come to us and say, hey, you know, these are important to us. We'd like you to, to support these. So clearly we're, um, we're focused on those. Uh, Kubernetes workloads is, is a newer set of workloads on AWS that we're uh, very interested. We made an acquisition and have a product called uh, Kasten that we've been investing in and, and working with AWS with their uh, uh, EKS Anywhere. So very exciting. Great. Sabina, on the Veeam AWS partnership, you guys, it's growing, a lot's going on. Can you tell us more about how Veeam and AWS are jointly helping customers? Yeah, as, um, as both of you know, right, data is exploding and uh, that means, you know, we have to keep backing up this data and finding new ways to back up this data because people are stepping away from the traditional backup methods tape libraries, secondary storage sites, and things like that. And they're backing up data into the cloud. And we, AWS, offers a number of different storage services, data transfer methods, and networking solutions, which provide unmatched durability, reliability, security. And of course, uh, AWS and Veeam have been partnering together now for quite a number of years and the cost effective uh, solution that Veeam has on AWS really enables customers to have offsite storage solutions, providing that physical separation between their on-premises primary data and also utilizing the pay-as-you-go cloud economics. So we have a great collaboration and you know, Veeam has a great solution on AWS and they are constantly innovating and providing capabilities for our customers. Just like Andy said, providing as many capabilities for our services to back up. Andy, the volume of data obviously is always the story every year. The volume is a tsunami of data. It's getting worse, it's every day. Um, and as you got more cloud scale, you guys have been doing a lot of integration. You guys always have, you have demanding customers. You have a lot of customers actually. So as you leverage Amazon for data protection, the security conversation is, is front and center these days. Can you give us an update on how you guys are doing uh, the data protection and security in the cloud with AWS that's, that's, um, that's hot with your customers? You know, it's a great, it's a great comment. You know, you talked about a lot of customers. Veeam has over 400,000 customers now. It's, it's truly extraordinary when you think about the size and scope and scale. And if you think, uh, my belief is a majority to almost all of them will tear up to and move their data up into the cloud at some point in our, in the next few years. And so we've just, I think we've just scratched the surface and we're moving at, you know, hundreds of petabytes or more per year up to the cloud. At the same time, when I make, you know, customer executive calls, it's kind of interesting. A lot of times you think they're going to want to talk about backup and disaster recovery. They want to talk about security. And when this first started happening, I thought, <laughs> hey, why don't you talk to your security vendor? You know? And what I realized was that data protection is front and center because of the we just we just published a study where a number jumped out at me. 71% yeah. of the thousands of people that responded said that they had already 
been a victim of or had had a, a ransomware attack. It's a staggering number. And um, so, you know, when we look at our relationship with Amazon and we look at the integration we've done around what we call cloud tiering, that's moving our moving data up to object storage, AWS has a capability called immutable data sets. And so that allows you, affords you some great protection against ransomware as an example. And that's one of the areas that we're uh, investing in very heavily. And by the way, our mutual customers are backing up and restoring with Veeam and we're doing it on AWS. And, and uh, the data volumes are exploding, I think, because of that. Yeah, you know what's interesting? You made me have a throwback to you know, 10 years ago, we used to talk about backup and recovery. And you know, the big thing back then was, was the conversation was, don't think of backup and recovery as, as a last minute thing. Think of it at the front end. It was always kind of an afterthought in a lot of the IT decision makers. And you mentioned that security comment about call your security vendor. It's almost yeah. the scripts has flipped. Backup and recovery yeah. is the security solution. And so right. it's, not, it's not an afterthought. This is to 10 years ago, it was the primary message. It's the primary thought. So when you talk about automated tiering, that's kind of a networking thing. It's like policy-based <laughs> tiering. I mean, I mean, you, if you go back 10 years and we we're talking policy-based tiering, you were like, what? So yeah. this is a really different dynamic. And I want you guys to comment because this, this is the market right now. The, the, the flip, the script has flipped. Yeah, Sabina, what do you, what, what do you from y'all's perspective, kind of in, in your technology partnerships, storage vendors, Veeam, security, what, 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 do you, what do you see? Well, I think that there is an interplay here because I think customers are looking at various ways, right? When I look at those five cybersecurity framework, right? First is identifying what you need to protect, protecting it, and then that's and a very important step of out of those five steps is recovery. Right? How do you get your business back to normal? But you cannot do that if you're not protecting and backing up your data. And that's where our partnership comes in, right? So I believe that all of those five stages in the NIST cybersecurity framework kind of go together and being placed nicely into the very critical phase of recovery. Would you agree, Andy? I would, you know, and, and I look at, um, you know, when you're doing a recovery and, and you've got your secure backups in AWS, it's it's like your last line of defense. You know, Veeam and AWS deliver immutable backups in S3 tiers through S3 object lock integration. And I think that's that's pretty much, you know, even if a ransomware attack is successful, we can, we can ensure that the backup data hadn't been changed and encrypted or deleted. And uh, that's pretty exciting, you know, for customers and prospects they're really worried about this. And I think the teamwork and the, the, the partnership between the two companies to build a solution like this is pretty awesome. Yeah, let, me, let me just double, on, double click on that for a second. You mentioned it got a lot of customers. Ransomware does not discriminate with the size of the company. It could be a, it could be a hospital, a school, it could be a big company. Ransomware is bad and we see that and it's a great conversation. And how do you take that solution out to the customers? You got hundreds of thousands of customers. So, Sabine, I guess the question is, how does AWS and Veeam work together? There's this channel first concept you guys are talking about. Tell us about how you guys work together because there's millions of customers who want this and you guys obviously have hundreds of thousands of customers at Veeam. How do you get the customers to leverage the relationship and what can you bring to them? Yeah, I'll give you like four numbers, right? So AWS has millions of customers and we have um, 100,000 partners across 150 countries. Now Veeam has, as Andy mentioned, right, has over 400,000 customers and 35,000 partners worldwide. So somewhere in these four numbers, we all intersect, both of us intersect, both on those customers and also on those partners. And one of the initiatives that my team is heavily focused on is triangulating between the partners that Veeam has, we have, and also our technology partnership, and how can we provide value to our customers by bringing together these partners together with AWS Veeam. And Veeam is a 100% is channel driven business and they know how to do this. So that is why we are heavily partnered with them to see what we can do for our customers through our mutual partners. Andy, why don't you weigh in here? You know the channel business, it's got to be easy, it's got to add value, and I got to wrap services around it. <laughs> That's what, what partners love. Well, um, how does this Absolutely. work? Absolutely. How does that work? Yeah. Well, I, I think to extend beyond what, what uh, to take what Sabina had said is, 
you know, we have kind of then subsetted our partners and the ones that that do business with AWS and and which is an exploding number of partners. And so they have a relationship with AWS, we have a relationship with AWS, and we have this, this solution set that have, are of interest to our customers through these partners and AWS's customers through these partners. And so a lot of times we'll share um, information and customers uh, information on, around um, how we can kind of go to these customers who are both AWS customers and Veeam customers and market this joint solution, protect them from ransomware. And how's it been going so far? What's your, what's your assessment? It's been fantastic. I think the, I think one of the, the, the real proof points is that we've moved uh, over a half a petabyte of data, you know, uh, recently up into their cloud. And, uh, you know, that says that people not only are using the solution, but they're, uh, they're actually delivering on it. Awesome. Well, I got you here, Andy. I want to ask you uh, for the, all the people watching, the customers, what's the biggest change that's happening in this market right now? Again, I love this shift that we're seeing. Backup and recovery isn't a point solution anymore. It's the solution, it's baked in. Everyone's talking about this. It's integrated in, it's not, it's, it's totally front and center. What's the big change that, that customers should be thinking about now as they move forward? And uh, obviously ransomware is still front and center. That's not going away anytime soon. What's the big, thing to focus on for customers? Well, I think, you know, I always say, you know, listen to the customer and, and focus on what their specific needs are, right? You can assume, obviously in the business we're in, everybody, everybody has a backup solution. And uh, so you're not trying to create a market there. But like I said, you know, people are very focused on security. They're focused on cost. They're focused on skill set or lack of skill sets, right? I mean, we have a, a shortage of skills in the industry. So we try to make our products easy to use. We try to work with our partners, including AWS to deliver the, the, the best solution we can for our customers. And, uh, you know, I think we have the broadest and best, you know, ransomware protection uh, and recovery in, in the storage space. And so we're very focused on that, leveraging all of our technologies across the platforms, physical, virtual, Kubernetes uh, type environments. That's awesome. And, cloud, you get, and, you get the Veeam, native, of course. and you get the huh? Veeam on event coming up and that's going to be good in person, right? That's confirmed. It's a, it's a, it's a hybrid, yeah, in person and, and, and virtual. Awesome, great to see you guys in person. Sabina, for the folks watching the Amazon partnerships, as you guys scale up these, these partnerships and take it to the next level, what's your, what's your closing comment? Yeah, I also want to say, right, something that I should mention, right? Veeam has also invested in AWS Marketplace. So it's not just the direct consulting partners and the partners that I mentioned, the 100,000 and 35,000, right? Uh, they, you, customers can also purchase Veeam on AWS Marketplace through consulting partner private offers. And that's why Veeam has embraced many of these aspects to try to help our customers and continue to grow that 400,000 customer base, which is a pretty phenomenal number. Yeah, I've always been impressed with Veeam's customer base and they got a very loyal base as well. I'll point that out and yeah. give props to the Veeam team. Andy, closing comments for you, the Veeam Aiders relationship, how would you summarize that? I'd say it's fantastic. You know, years ago it started as just a normal technology partnership. You know, now we're an advanced technology partner with storage competency, numerous programs like APN, uh, customer engagement, we're a marketplace seller. And I would say that it's not only that, but, but customers can take advantages of their um, EDP with AWS to purchase on the marketplace and get credits against that. And our partners can as well. That's a, that's a very important thing because we're seeing more and more interest in that today. Uh, we're a public sector partner with them. We're an ISV Accelerate, SAS Revenue Recognition Program. We're, we're uh, I think we're checking a lot of boxes, but really <laughs> taking advantage of it. The last thing I would say is uh, I've known Sabina for quite a few years now, and I think it's the people relationships in the two companies that make this work. We have a lot of people, a lot smarter than me on the, on the speeds and feeds here, but at the end of the day, um, Sabina has a team of people that work with us on a, on a day, almost a daily basis to solve customer problems, right? We get people calling in all the time. How do I make Veeam work on AWS? How do I you know, get AWS solutions to work with Veeam? And our job is to make it as easy as possible because we both believe uh, that customers, they say customer first. I always say customer always, are always right. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but you know, at the end of the day, that's what makes this work. Yeah, customer's always right, customer obsession, working backwards from the customer, you know, fuck right. customer yeah. first. Sabina, this is really interesting. This is a good point. I was just come 
quick go back to you real quick. This integration of relationships and also cloud technology integration is a big theme this year post reInvent. Your, your thoughts? Absolutely means um, uh, to be candid, uh, one of the goals that me and my team take is how do we bring technology partners together to add more value to our customers and end-to-end -end solutions along with technology partners and consulting partners. So that is a huge focus for us because we need to do that in order to scale, not just for each other, but also for our customers and bring the, bring together meaningful, comprehensive end-to-end -end solutions. That's awesome. Andy, great to see you. We'll see you at Veeam on as well, coming up for the Veeam show in your conference, your big conference, hybrid conference in person and virtual and digital. So being a great to see you again. Thanks for sharing all the great updates. And this is the season two. It's all about the data and the innovations with AWS. I'm John Furrier, your host of theCUBE, season one, episode two of the AWS Partner Showcase. Thanks for watching.